Hi everybody, it is July 29th and I am here with another vlog. Today is actually more structured, I guess, than usual. I have this idea, it might not be a good idea, but it's an idea, so that's somewhere to start. As you may or may not know, I have a Twitter. My handle is Harbor the Beast, and I tweet a lot. I love Twitter. I don't know why I've had this. I've had Twitter. I think since I was a freshman in high school, actually. But the first summer that I moved to Germany, which was almost three years ago, all my internet life got hacked. So my Twitter account got deleted. So I had to start over. So I've had this Twitter account for about two years now. While I don't feel like I haven't done any tweets for two years, it's definitely one of those things that I really enjoy doing. But I figured since I am such a devout Twitter user that I would share some of, the fav of my favorite tweets that I've tweeted from July so far. There are still three days left, or two days left in July, but the still really counts. So let's up my little smartphone. Uh, July 1st. You know what I don't have? A boyfriend. <laughs> you know what else I don't have? Cake. You know what would be nice right now? A boyfriend with cake. Or just cake. I often tweet about food and when I talk to my friends I'm always talking about like cake or something. Cake is just kind of my go-to answer for everything. I don't really eat that much cake. July 3rd. When other people play Minecraft, it looks fun. When I played, I was over it in 3 seconds. People are obsessed with this game Minecraft, which is basically like old school looking, but it's super, like you build stuff and you adventure and you kill people and stuff, I don't know. But, Joey Rousseff, who's also a YouTuber, plays Minecraft and he posts or Minecraft videos on his gaming channel sometimes. I haven't watched many of them because I don't actually play Minecraft, but I did see a few and they were kind of they were hilarious. But people play Minecraft, they, one of my best friends plays Minecraft, and I was like, I don't want to play. So I tried the tu tutorial and I didn't get it. Like, it didn't, it was a tutorial, right? So I should tell you how to play, but they didn't tell me anything. I was really upset, so I was just like, I'm done, I'm over it. I almost bought a subscription for 20 bucks, but then I glad I didn't because it wasn't, I don't think it was for me. July 4th. This is a retweet from Darren Hayes. <laughs> Let's start a new review show called Gotta Have It or Kill It With Fire. And I've actually sent out another tweet after that saying that I actually wanted to do this. I wanted people to tweet me or to inbox me via whatever social media items that they want me to put on these lists. Either gotta have it or kill it with fire. So I tweeted that out and I've gotten no responses so I might just google random things and make my own list. July 7th. Hot guy stressed me out. <laughs> this is a retweet from your ex-girlfriend at EXGF problems. And why did I single that out? I don't know because hot guys actually really did stress me out. That's, I hate it. July 10th. Why is it that hashtag Twitter's Amber? can sing her dog a song to help her poop, but I can't sing her a song to help her poop. Hashtag double standards. <laughs> it's kind of funny to say hashtag out loud in a video, but you know, I say it a lot in my life sometimes. But not with my friends, but whatever. My best friend Amber has her own hashtag because she doesn't refuse, she refuses to go to Twitter, and I keep having to attack her and all of the stupid things she says. I remix, remix Fallen by Alicia Keys and tried to make it about pooping. And I sang it to her before she actually went to use the bathroom and she thought I was the weirdest person. But then she sings the song to her dog, it's not even like a real song, to help her go poop. And I was upset. I was like, you can't do that. That's a double standard. So now every time she's like, I'm going to use the bathroom, I just automatically sing the song. July 15th. Who only makes one Eggo waffle? Pears. Do it in pears. <laughs> Hashtag the fuck. Hashtag weird food thing. <laughs> Everybody knows. <laughs> Interrupted, but all that was edited out. But yeah, everybody knows that we can make waffles or toaster strudel to 
Yeah, you do it in pairs. You can't just take one waffle. Who only eats one waffle? You have to do it in pairs, or you can't do it at all. <laughs> That's gonna be a rule in my house. I have to tell Amber that. You only do it in pairs. She doesn't even like Toshi Shrew. Anyway, do it in pairs. That, I mean, that's, that's a good model to live by. Four Eggo Waffles and Toshi Shrew. Also on July 15th, I looked at his profile so he see I was there so he'd be inclined to message me first. <laughs> LOL. Hashtag desperate. Seems like it. <laughs> hashtag what else? Hashtag tricky. This is after I went and met Alex. And, of course, I was like, you know, I don't want to message him, like, right when I get home. I messaged him when I got home, actually, saying that I made it safely, because he requested that I do that, which is very nice of him, and I appreciate that very, very much. But, I didn't want to message him, like, the next day, but like, hey, what's up? I really had a great time. We should talk more all the time. So I was like, I'm just going to wait. And Amber was like, yeah, just wait. I'm like, sure, I'll wait until, like, Wednesday. I went, I met him on Saturday, I was gonna wait till Wednesday to talk to him, but then like, Sunday happened, I was like, I don't like waiting, I feel like I'm being super bitchy, not talking to him or whatever, so I decided that I would just message him on Tuesday. And I messaged him on that Tuesday instead of that Wednesday, and I felt so much better. <laughs> I was hoping he messaged me first, and he didn't, because boys were stupid. July 19th. This love is getting dangerous, but I need some more tonight. Hashtag young love at Eli D. Eli D was actually a musician. I found him on YouTube, but I don't remember how. But he's gorgeous. And he's a good musician also. But those are lyrics from his song Young Love, which is like his new single. Which is available on iTunes. I'm not being endorsed for this, but I really like the song again. He seems like a really nice person. It's it's a good song. He's gay and the song is mostly about gay love but I mean it's a love song you can apply it to anything but it's super cute I'll put the video link in the description go look at it it's lovely and the last tweet that I'm sharing with you with the story is on July 21st Pittsburgh cookie table google it <laughs> that's all it tweets it Billy and Pat are a same sex couple here on YouTube and they are getting married, I think in November. They have been vlogging, making vlogs about questions that have been asked by friends and family concerning what happens when two men get married. Which I think is actually a very cool thing and it's super adorable and they're the cutest couple and they're just, that's great. They are doing a Pittsburgh cookie table as part of their like wedding per uh, reception along with Billy's grandma is going to make a cheesecake that they all love and that will be like for one of their wedding cakes or whatever. But they showed a picture and I was like, oh my god, it's literally just a cook table full of different kinds of cookies that the family makes, which I think is really cool because it's family involved in the wedding and you get snacks. I mean, who doesn't like snacks? So I googled it and I'm like, it's totally happening. And then I was like, I would also like a table of types of cake that my husband and I like. So. This cookie table might be really cool. I don't really eat that many cookies. I'm more of a cake person. But if we can have a, a cake table too, it's all over. When I get married, be sure that I'm going to have like a cookie table or a cake table or something of that sort. It's gonna be cool. I can't wait to get married. Yeah, I'm one of those people that kind of plans the wedding ahead, but I'm not really planning. I'm just like looking at stuff. I'm like, oh, that'd be cool to have. I do know that I want lanterns to like release after like the ceremony or whatever at the reception. I want lanterns. It'll be super cool. Anyway, that was the last tweet with the last story. If you liked any of those tweets, if any of those seemed rather funny, which they really didn't, were interesting, follow me on Twitter at Harvard the Beast. I tweet a lot. I went back in the state to tweet even more than I do when I'm here at home. So, I mean, it gets. A lot of action. If you're new to the channel, hello and welcome. Thank you for stopping by and watching this video. I appreciate you very much. Please click the subscribe button, which is I don't know where it is actually. I've been making YouTube videos for almost a year now, and I have no idea where the subscribe button is. Don't you just like when you're talking, and then like the brain just shuts off completely, and you're like, blah, blah, blah. yeah, it's cool. 
to my loyal faithful, faithful viewers, thank you for coming back and watching another video. I appreciate you so, so very much. I will be here with another video for you guys tomorrow. What if I just do that at the end of your video? Ooh, ooh. Like from Baby Mama? Ooh, ooh.